Mokshagunnam Vishweshwaraya, the father of Indian engineering, was born to an orthodox poor family of Muddenahalli, near the Nandi Hills, 60 kilometers away from Bangalore. He was born on 15th September 1961. He went on to become the greatest engineers the world has ever seen. Vishweshwaraya is an excellent example of a poor boy realizing his dreams. He is said to have studied under the light of a lamp post during his childhood. Yet, he was able to achieve great heights as a person, an engineer and a statesman. Vishweshwaraya's mother Venkachamma was a very strong-willed person. In fact, it was she who molded his character. His maternal uncle Ramaya was also instrumental in shaping his career and then it was he who persuaded Vishweshwaraya to accept the government service in Mysore state. Vishweshwaraya is considered as the father of the modern Indian industrialization. His contributions to the field of engineering is beyond comparison. Saram Vishweshwaraya passed his BA in 1880. Divan Rangacharlu was so impressed by him that he offered a government scholarship for him to continue his engineering at Pune. During his stay at Pune, he started the Deccan Club. He made many friends. Among the best were Ranade, Gokhale and Bal Gangadhar Tilak. The biggest uh, contribution by M.V. was the design of uh, systematic water wear gates, flood gates which effectively reduced the suction load of the dam, giving it long life. He introduced the block system of uh, irrigation and he designed uh, flood protective systems in Orissa, Bihar and Hyderabad states. If his policies were fully implemented, the recent floods in Orissa would not have taken such a heavy toll. He started his career in Bombay when he joined the PWD as an assistant engineer. In 1915, he was awarded the title of the Knight Commander of the Indian Empire. This was Britain's way of appreciating his fertility of mind, ceaseless energy and his sense of public duty. His contributions as the Divan of the state of Mysore is unparalleled. He designed the KRS Dam with a large reservoir which irrigated the whole state of Mysore and brought it much prosperity. He improved the municipality boards of each taluk and started civic and social progress associations and implemented village improvement schemes. He also started the Malnad Improvement Committee and introduced efficiency audit system all over the state. He started the SJP Polytechnic at Bangalore, which was the first step towards improving the education system in the state. He also established the Mysore University and the Mechanical Engineering School at Mysore. He started the agricultural school at Hebal. Another of his bold step was the establishment of the iron and steel works at Bhatravati, which even today is the largest producer of raw steel in India. Under his able leadership, many new economic features were added to the state of Mysore. This include the starting of the Karnataka Chamber of Commerce, the Mysore Economic Conference and above all the starting of the State Bank of Mysore which today is one of the leading banks in the country. He designed a new system of water via flood gates and was first to introduce the block system of irrigation in India. 
He also lent his expertise to the Hirakud project and to projects outside India like the Ordon water supply drainage in Egypt and the Sakar Barrage project of Pakistan. His personal favorite was the remodeling of the city of Hyderabad and Bombay. Vishweshwaraya was invited by Egypt and many other European countries to exhibit and implement his designs of the Paraj type dam. He utilized every minute of his long life in the pursuit of excellence. The nation has paid tribute by conferring the highest civilian award, the Bharataratna, in 1955. Pandit Nehru offered him the Bharat Ratna. Sir N.B. in his reply asked him if he had to praise his government. If it was so, he would refuse the Bharat Ratna. I remember him during my childhood. Even though he was a person of great importance, for us, for me and my sister that is, he was never an engineer, a divan. He was just our grandpa and as affectionately as we called him, he was our tata. Mokshagundam believed that men die but ideas don't. His idea of industrialize or perish must be translated into reality. His great dream to see India prosper through industrialization must be fully implemented. Sir.